talking to Atticus A.J. Taylor, a new new player for NC State fans to learn. Um, what should they expect from you this year? Uh, expect me, hey, I'm just doing whatever coach wants to do. So like, as long as, like, if my shot's not falling, I'm going to go ahead and crash it and help everybody else around the court. So like, if they need assist from me, that's what they're going to get. If they need rebound points, that's what they got. So, it's all around play. How big of an adjustment is it you, you've learned these last few months playing pickup and whatnot? How, how different is it from, from junior college ranks to here? Uh, so far, it's been like the first day, a couple days, it was like a little bit different from the level. <clears throat> Excuse me. But other than that, once I got used to it, it was good. Being good. I got to, you know what I'm saying, the trust of my teammates and yeah, I got used to it after a while. How do you feel you're fitting in with the system with the team as well? Oh, I feel like I'm feeling good. It's one, it's one just like I was at the old school, just for all my family, right? What's the one thing Coach Keats can count on you every time he plays you? Hey. <laughs> That, play, that hard, aggressive, killer instinct. That, so like whatever you need, like I said, like be once be just to rebound at the game or something. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get 20 rebounds and plus. It don't matter. Like so wherever he needs, I got it. So. That, does it feel surreal wearing that NC State jersey? Yeah, it's crazy. I ain't even hey drink juice sometimes. So. Yeah, I'm completely blessed, blessed to be here. So. How excited are you to have that opportunity to play at the ACC level, especially starting the season with an ACC team as well? Yeah, I'm super excited. I mean, yeah, I could, once again, like I said, we're here, like, it's straight man above. Like, it wouldn't have happened without him. So, I was just happy from going from the Jupiter level up to the top notch level. So, yeah, it is exciting. Can you describe the process that took you from the Juco level to the uh, the main process I had to adjust to is <clears throat> being more like, I was mature before, but I had to be like, you know what I'm saying, become a man, I had to learn responsibilities and stuff like that, so, I mean, the main challenge was consistency. What about recruiting-wise? What other schools were interested in you? I know Bill Williams was a big fan of yours, and, you know, what was it like, you know, what, what did you like about NC State that led you to pick you? Uh, after I had found out the news about uh, Texas A&M, Coach JJ, Coach Keats, and all of them called me like right away, and they was like, I want to come see you, talk to you, stuff like that. And they came to one of my scrimmages, and they was like, yeah, we really love you. And they just so consistently out throughout the rest of the group. So it was good. It felt like a family. How different is it, like, just living in Raleigh compared to where you were in Mississippi? It's a huge cultural change, I'll tell you that. So yeah. it's, just, it's different, but I'm getting used to it day by day. A lot of fans, they're great people around here. What, what has it been like learning about your teammates? Who, uh, who are some of them that impress you in pickup games and practice? Markel Johnson, David <laughs> Daniels, J. Cole, everybody pretty much, everybody's showing stuff that I really haven't seen before. Like, you know, I was at the lower level of Juco, so you know, you see it here and there, but like, you know, these guys can move. You know, these guys can move. Most do you see yourself playing mostly as a stretch forward, or do you see yourself playing some small forward? Uh, right now, it's, it's a triple small forward and before, so it's just whatever you do is like. So if somebody's going to get the three, if I do down to the four and whatever it happens.